guys, it's Firefly Kiri, and we are back with a third episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby Power Lock. It is now time to take on Rayquaza. Let's get going. Let's go, Ashley. All right, we're going straight up Thunderbolt. Can I get the fire hacks? No, I can't. Oh, Dragon Pulse is gonna hurt. Dragon Pulse is gonna hurt. Oh my God. Heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up. Use E speed or something so I can use it so you can get static. Alright. Fly will work. Wait, how am I? Are you kidding? Static didn't work. There's E speed. Why ain't static going off? Come on, static. Thank you. Now, I'm free to Volt Switch. Um, Casey. Because it can't touch us with the Dragon Pulse. There we go. Alright. Air Slash. All right, you're in the red. You are, you have a status and ailment. So we're going to throw an ultra ball at you. One, two, three. Really? You want a nice premiere ball? on back. Uh, I guess Justin for now. But wait, we call it Rayquaza in a Premier Ball. Dragon's Ascent. Okay. We got, we got all that. And I think we gotta battle her. Yeah. And she blushed. It's Legudra! Wait, I didn't want to leave with... 
All right, because because of the storyline, we pretty much have to use Rayquaza. So, you know. This is our first Mega Evolution. Come to think of it. And how fitting that it's Rayquaza. Gujra's down. Tiny Ranch Room's down. is a Noivern. Oh no, our attack when we're using Dragon Pulse. She's got a Mega Salamance. But still, Dragon Balls. I guess it falls to you now. That settles it then. Kiri, you should even be able to beat that meteorite approaching the planet. You and Rayquaza together. I'm leaving this task to you, our new successor. Successor Akiri. You and Rayquaza must protect nature, Pokemon, and the people. Now we're getting into our suit. Yeah, Rayquaza, giddy up! And now here we go, flying in the air. The shape of the Delta symbol. Going after to destroy that meteorite heading for Hoenn. But what's this? This music, though. I love this music. It's time. It's time.
it is time to fight the Deoxys. I mean... Can, can we catch this thing on a first try? No. Um... Ultra Ball. Rick Walls is going to go down. That's fine, because Rick Walls is technically part of our party, so... But we got Centurion on our side. It has to recharge. Either way. Alright. Um. Honestly. You can. Come back. To Deoxys. Yeah. I knew it was going to recover. All right. Oh, this hyper beam's gonna hurt. Stop, 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 stop. Dark pulse. Alright, so, like you, like I said, you could actually go back to the tower and try to re-catch Deoxys. So. And now it's finally done. I was finally able to bring everything to an end. I thank you for that. I think I'll spend some time trying to find out if it's also possible to forget a for forge a new beginning for something I once lost. Until we meet again, Zinnia. The energy readings appears to be diffusing. We can confirm that the meteorite has been destroyed, sir. P -p Professor, the meteorite th th thanks to the powers above it. Calm yourself, man. Oh, who are kidding? I'm so happy I could kiss you. We did it. We actually did it. Thank you, Akiri. I'm leaving then. Goodbye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Wait, but wait just a minute, Wally. That's right. Are you okay? You looked like you were in trouble recently when those stranger, strange thugs came around. Of course. My Pokemon and I are fit for anything. See, Akiri got my keystone back for me. 
and Mr. Norman gave me a ticket to a resort that sounds really neat. I can't wait to go and check it out. My, my. I never dreamed that one day think I would... I never dreamed I would one day think that Wally was too well. Yes, but he looks on so honestly happy that I can't help feeling happy too. That's what parenting's about. Ah! This conversation isn't proceeding as expected. Courtney, yes. Apologize to Leader Maxi. Huh? Oh, uh. Hurry up, okay? Just say sorry. I'm sorry, Leader Maxi. I'm so sorry. I won't do it anymore. I'll never do anything like that again. So please forget, forgive me. What are you? Fine, I understand, Courtney. I, the great Maxie, will forgive you, but only on one condition. You must also forgive me. Courtney, I never imagined, I uh, never could have imagined how very loyal you were to me. Nor did I imagine even one idiot of the shock you must have experienced due to my recent speech and conduct. Or how it could have pained you. The one who drove you to such an extreme act was me. I'm truly sorry for that. You see, Courtney, I would like to start a new path. There are truths that I've learned because of my mistakes I've made. They pit me against others who are not like me and against ideas that are different from mine. They tell me the importance of understanding these uh, others even though we may continue to cause pain to one another. Oh, man. So, he's finally seen the light. <laughs> that settles that. Stephen Bay! I still owe you for your help at Sky Pillar. Thank you for that. I don't How unlike you to be so thoughtful. Hmm. You know, this experience really brought it home for me again. That there is still so much about this world that I do not know. I wonder what would happen to Hoenn if Akiri had not been here to aid us with this and the uh, incident with the super ancient Pokemon. I alone was powerless to stop either. There is no one person in this world who knows all. No, none who can do all. Steven, there is no cause for such worry or concern. Don't worry. It's not that I'm shocked by my own disappointing performance, but rather, rather what? I was just thinking about how much more there is I must learn about nature and about Pokemon, and about my fellow humans as well. If I am to keep living in this huge wide world, I want to walk this world on my own two feet to see it as my own eyes, feel it on my very skin. I need to put into practice all of the advice I gave to Kiri. That's what I'm thinking now. Steven, you can't intend to. Ah, uh, no need to fear. I won't just disappear at once. I'll still be doing my duty on behalf of the Pokemon League, but um... When the time does come for me to pursue my own hopes, I hope that you, Wallace, will be behind me to lend a hand. Hmm, seems I have little choice. I bow to the whims of the pampered air, Wallace. We'll do anything you wish. Thank you, my friend. Zinnia, my child. Granny, you've worked so hard. It's enough, child. Be done with your burden. Let it go. For everything, there must be an ending. Only then, only then, can there be new beginnings. Aww. It's time to take a break. Oh, 
Oh my lord. So much talking. <sighs> so much talking. And now we get to see Brandon and May's first date. Time really flies when you're having fun. Oh, man. Well, bye. McGarry. See you tomorrow. You're back at last. Welcome. You're back at last. Welcome home, Akiri. And that's the end of the Delta episode, which brings us an end to the Pokemon Omega Ruby power lock. We have technically won the lock. I had a great time doing it. And... Be on the lookout for a channel update Monday and some start of a couple of new LPs. So remember guys, be good, stay safe, but always have fun and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.